Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have a haul video for you guys and this video is all about Swarovski crystals, some storage uh, things that I got as well including Swarovski crystals. So I'm going to show you guys all of the stuff that I got, I ended up getting some a pack of some different colors of Swarovski crystals, and I wanted to shout out to Talia from Talia's Nail Tales. She recently posted a video of her entire collection of Swarovski crystals, and I actually needed to place an order. So I was really happy when she put that video out because I was able to go through all of the colors and decide kind of what colors to order and fill in some of the gaps from my collection. So I'm super excited. Uh, definitely check out her video if you haven't already where she kind of shows all of the colors that she has. So I filled in some of the gaps in my collection and then also kind of restocked some of my more popular colors. And then I got a couple organization things as well that I'm gonna show you guys. So I order my Swarovski crystals from Blue Streak Crystals. They are in the UK. I'm in the US, however, so shipping can be kind of expensive. However, I really like the fact that they have these like packs that you can order. So it's super easy because a lot of the other sites that I've found, you have to go in and find the color and then you have to find the size of the crystal that you want and then how much you want of that size. It's just a little bit easier for me to order things and I can quickly add, you know, find the colors that I need and then add the packs to my cart. And then they also have some mixes that they like pre-made mixes that they have. They throw in some different colored crystals and then that way you can get a variety if that's kind of what you're looking for. So that's why I like to order from Blue Streak. And actually the shipping did not take long at all. It only took maybe a week or less than a week coming from the UK to the US. So that was awesome. Like I was kind of worried with COVID and stuff if it was gonna take a long time, but it didn't take barely any time at all. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. First, I wanted to show you this really cool chart that I got and it has all of the colors of Swarovski crystals in it and all the colors are labeled and I'm super excited. I have been wanting one of these for a while and then when I saw Talia share it in her video, I was like, okay, I have to get one because this way, if I ever want to order some more crystals um, or I'm trying to fill in more gaps of my collection, I can quickly reference this and be like, oh, okay, I need a blue. And the one that I have isn't dark enough, so I need like a darker blue. I can actually go through the blue section, see what the colors and see what they actually look like because sometimes it is hard to tell what the colors actually look like on the computer. Sometimes they don't quite look the same as they do in person. So, this is something I'm super excited about. It was a little bit on the spendy side. I think it was almost $40 just for this chart. However, I've been wanting it for a while and I think it's going to come in real, you know, good use when I need to order or if I'm looking for a specific shade, I can see exactly what they look like and I don't have to try and go off pictures from the computer to see what kind of color that I want. So, and I really like that it did come in this nice little box because I don't want it to get ruined or anything like that. And it has a lid, so it comes in this nice sturdy box. The next thing I got was this uh, storage organization container. I just really, really liked the look of it. And I like that it has this kind of like velvety, like foam kind of in between. So each of the little compartments, they're not gonna get scratched or anything like that because they are really nice and protected. And if you were to double stack, the, the back of this has like a little foot on it. So it's not going to sit directly on top of these and like scratch them up um, because they can get scratched and then you're not gonna be able to see as well what is inside of it. And I will show you guys my current uh, organization that I have for my crystals. It works okay and it's definitely on the cheaper side. I got these um, compartments from Michaels, I believe. The only thing I don't love about them is the compartments are not 100% sealed. So if you happen to like tip the container over or something, 
the crystals will actually jump over into the next compartment and then you're going to end up with a whole bunch of mix of crystals you know in different colors all mixed together and stuff and i like how these are actually separated and i like how big it is honestly because i think think I may be able to fit all of my Swarovski crystals in this. So then when a client wants crystals, I can just pull this whole thing out, set it on my desk, you know, and have their hand hanging over and I can easily pull whatever color that I need um, out of this container. And here's what it looks like now without the plastic on it. So the foam thing, you can like pull it out and you can easily take these little jars out and then put them back in uh it looks like the jars themselves have some foam in there i don't think i'll i will keep that but so this is what it looks like and i was debating if i wanted to keep all of the sizes of my crystals separated but i think what i'm actually gonna do is the colored crystals i think i'm just gonna all put them all in one container I'm not going to worry about separating them by size. I don't use the colored ones as often, but I think the crystal and the crystal AB Swarovskis, I will separate by size just because I use those the most often. And sometimes I need one of the really, really tiny crystals. And it's going to be a lot easier if I can just grab like the container with the small ones and I don't have to search through the whole container to find like some smaller ones. So, I'm super excited about this. I think it will be really helpful and it looks really nice. I think it's gonna look nice to the client as well, like nice and professional. I think it's gonna be nice to see all of my colors in the container at once. So I will flip the camera around now and we will look at some of the crystals and the colors that I got. And I also wanna say, I believe this was around $20, $25. So it actually wasn't that expensive because I feel like I've seen some containers that can go up to like 40 to $50. So I feel like the price of this wasn't that bad. I think it did make my shipping go up a little bit just because it's bigger. I'm pretty happy with this. This looks really nice and I'm excited to get all of my crystals in there. Okay guys, so here is the uh, storage container that I got and I wanted to show you guys again the ones that I'm using right now. So this is what I'm using right now. They just come from Michaels and they have little separate compartments and I have all of my crystals uh, kind of organized in I think I have six of these containers and so I kind of have different color ranges in each container but as you can see like there's some kind of mixed ones in there right there like they kind of jump over uh, depending on if you accidentally turn it upside down or turn it sideways. Here's kind of like my pinks and reds, some kind of, I'm just excited to get all of the containers in this one container instead of having them all separate and having six different containers. However, it's gonna definitely be a project of getting these into here because I can't flip it upside down and just pour them in there. I'm gonna have to like one by one uh, get them into these containers. I also have a container like this, which is very similar to kind of this one, like same concept where you have the different uh, size little containers. So I have six of these and I have this. We are gonna definitely need to do like a whole reorganization here and re, uh, reorganize and recategorize kind of all of my crystals. I also have some just loose kind of around containers and I have a container like this. I have a lot of different containers and I think that's why this is gonna be so nice just to have everything in one place. Okay, so let me go through everything that I got from Blue Streak. Um, it looks like they gave me two empty containers. So if I ever need some other containers, they gave me two of those. So these are the Crystal AB colored Swarovski crystals. And these are probably my most popular. They're just kind of like your uh, basic, I don't wanna say basic because they're very, very sparkly, but they kind of have their like, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. So they reflect a lot of different colors and you can really pair them with anything. So I got a pack of 600. So I think it is a hundred. Yes, it's a hundred of each size. And so we have uh, SS3, which is the tiniest. However, I do actually use these to fill in little gaps and stuff. So 
this is a uh, hundred of SS3, SS5, 7, SS9, SS12, and SS16, which I don't use the 16s that often just because they're very, very large. But so I got 600 of those. And I think I am going to keep these ones separated just because it's going to be easier for me to pick out what size I want since I do use these the most often. I may actually keep my crystal ABs and my crystal, just plain crystal in this container and then just keep all of my colored ones in the other container. I'm not really sure exactly how I want to do it because since I do use them the most often, it might be easier just to pull out that small container every time. I don't really know. If you have any suggestions, uh, please let me know. So same thing with just the crystal color, a pack of 600 and 100 in each size. So these ones are your plain crystal and this is the crystal AB. So these are gonna be the two most popular colors that you would use. They go with pretty much anything. Uh, we got one that just reflects kind of like a silver clear sparkle and then the other one kind of reflects a whole bunch of different colors. Okay, this next color is Silver Night. I got a pack of 300 in SS5, SS7, and SS9. And Silver Night, I was looking for a black crystal that is not jet. So jet I have a couple of those ones. So this crystal is called Jet. It's your black crystal. However, it does not sparkle as much as a regular crystal. Like you can kind of see there's like a little bit of shine on there, but it really doesn't sparkle like, you know, your regular crystal. So whenever somebody asks for a black crystal, it's, I'm always kind of a little bit weary about it just because it doesn't look as good. So I ended up ordering this one, which is called Silver Night. So it's not black, but it's a pretty good, like dark, almost black crystal, but it's not the same type of crystal as that jet color. So it actually does sparkle. So I got a pack of 300 of that. So I think what I'm gonna do is as I'm going through these, I am just going to open them and start filling these containers. And the other nice thing too about these containers is if like you have like a red and orange and then you end up getting another crystal that is kind of like in between, you can just, you know, swap these around to keep them color coordinated versus like this. I can't really swap them around. They're in there. That's all. That's what it is. So I'm not going to fill these ones up yet because I just don't know which container I'm going to put them in. But I think when I open these colored ones, I am going to just automatically put them in these containers. Okay, one bad thing about this like black foam that they have in here is it kind of covers the entire container, which I don't want my crystals to be covered in this like black fuzz. I'm just taking like a tissue and kind of cleaning it out. Yeah, that might not be the best idea for them. <laughs> Also, these lids are actually, they're not screw top. They just pop off and then you can just push them back on. So that kind of is a little bit easier than trying to screw the lids back on. Um, my one tip when emptying these baggies, do not uh, empty them by the sticky part in the back. Like don't try to open this and open them this way because when you try to get the crystals out, they just kind of like, they kind of stick to it and then it just gets difficult. What I do is I take scissors and I cut the top off and then I just easily pour them out. Also, I think I said I, this is a pack of 300, but it's actually a pack of 150. So it looks like there's 50 of each size. So pack of 150. So 50 of each uh, size, SS7, 5, and 9. Which SS7, 5, and 9 are probably gonna be your most popular sizes that you use. So just like that, just cut the top off and pour them out from the top versus trying to undo the sticky part in the back. All right, so this color, this one is Silver Night. So it's a really nice, dark, almost black crystal. I think it's gonna be good as a use for a black crystal because the black honestly isn't the best. Hmm. 
This color is Capri Blue, and it's also a pack of 150. It's a really, really nice, uh, dark, almost like electric blue. This one is called Aqua, so it's gonna be your light blue. Again, same thing, pack of 150. I'm just pulling these out, you guys, at random too, so they may not be in color order as I show them to you. This one is tangerine. It's a really nice orange. And I actually didn't have any orange crystals, so this one was on like the top of my list. And this one's so pretty. This is gonna be really nice for fall as well. This color is silk. So it's a really nice, almost like champagne gold, kind of like a champagne gold. Uh, yeah, I feel like champagne would be like the best way to describe this color. Uh, this one's really pretty as well. So this color is amethyst and it's actually a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. It's like in between your pink and purple, but it's definitely the, the website made it look a little bit brighter, which is another reason why I'm glad I bought that color chart because you just can't go off of pictures from the internet. Sometimes they just don't look exactly the same as real life. color is smoked topaz it is going to be your brown crystal i don't have any brown crystals i don't think i've ever had a brown crystal so excited i was excited to grab this one and fill in that gap of my collection This one is called grayish, so it is more of like a gray tone. And I'll show you this one compared to that Silver Knight. So we have grayish on the left and Silver Knight on the right. So Silver Knight is more silver, like cool toned, and grayish is more of like a neutral to warm tone. I would still, if I was looking for like a black crystal, I would still go with Silver Knight for that. This one is called Light Topaz, and it is gonna be your yellow. And I didn't have any yellows either, so filling in lots of gaps of my collection today. This one's called Peridot, and it's a green. It's more of your lighter green. I think I did already have some darker greens in my collection, so I wanted to grab some lighter ones. Again, this one's Peridot. This is the last uh, colored one that I got, which is Light Siam, which is your red. 
So, so far from this container, I've only filled up two rows plus one. So I have all of these empty ones. I need to add in my clear and clear AB crystals, and then I need to slowly move these ones over, which is gonna take a while. I may take all of my crystals home is what I'm thinking so that I can sit in like front of the TV and just do these because these I'm gonna have to literally move one by one by one by one. <laughs> and I have six containers. These are some of my gold crystals, which I'm just slowly kind of moving from here into here, into the bigger one. And they're more of that like metallic finish. They, they don't have that like clear shimmery sparkle. So they're more of like a metallic crystal. So I'm gonna move them. Oops. I'm gonna move them to the other side because I think I'm gonna save this just for clear and clear AB and then it'll be easy because that's the mo thing that I grabbed the most. I can just pull this out just for those specific crystals and then I'll keep all of my colored ones in the bigger organization container. So this is the end result of putting all of my crystal and crystal A, B Swapsky crystals in this one container and I absolutely love it. I have them all separated by size and there is 12 little compartments in here so I was able to fit all of the sizes except the very largest one which I don't use as often anyways so I put the biggest size into the other larger container so those will stay in there and I have all of my SS3, 5, 7, 9, 12, and 16 I believe in this container so this worked out really really well and I'm super happy with the way it looked they look so gorgeous I just love to see them sparkling and I will show you guys now after I took the large container home and spent hours and hours moving my crystals over what that turned out. So this is what the large container turned out to look like after I filled it with all of my crystals and I am so incredibly happy with it. It looks stunning and I absolutely love how I can see every color that I have and I ended up with four empty spots. So I have four spots left to fill and some of the colors that I already had in my collection are not necessarily colors I would repurchase. So when those run out, I will maybe replace them with a different color or something like that. But for now, this is amazing. I can easily see all of the colors that I have and they're all in one place. This is going to make it so much easier and so much more efficient for me when I am working with Swarovski crystals and I'm super happy that I purchased this organizer. Also, this is what my drawer now looks like. I have the color chart on the bottom and I have the big organizer on top and then I have my little Swarovski mat and I have this container that has my crystal gels and little trays and glue and then over here I have my embellishments and I have some of my Swarovski crystal pixie next to the embellishments and then in the back I have all of my kind of empty containers because I never know if I will need them for something else so my drawer is so much better organized now and I'm super happy with it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video